Hello, welcome to the program. Today we're visiting a small business in the tourist industry, a family business that's been run in the back family shed, and now they're making a really big leap into commercial premises with no experience whatsoever. We'll see if we can help them out and also with some of the usual family business issues. Let's go and meet them when I park it. There are the old dogs. Hey, How are you, Robbie? Hey, hey, David. Nice Good to, to meet you. See you. Good haircuts. I like yeah. it. Very trendy. Uh, now you can steer from the back here. Yeah, it's a tricky boat. Yeah. Mm, no wonder I was so good. I've had a bit of help. Now, tell me what you do. Tell me about the business. Well, we run um, a business. We take people out to swim with dolphins and seals here in Port Phillip Bay from Queenscliff. Um, it's a fantastic business. We really enjoy the marine environment because we come from that background. And right. we love showing people what's out here. And most people are really quite surprised at uh, the quality of our, our sea life and marine mammals. And, um, and it's been going for a number of years, Robbie. Danny Green totally in control here. Some questions have been answered right now. Oh, beautiful straight right hand from Green. Well, from Captain Green. He's letting Danny Green know it. You've got something coming. What a great fight for Danny Green. Thunder from down under. Roy Jones Jr., an eight-time world champion in five weight divisions, wants the IBO Cruiserweight world title. But he has to take it off the fighting machine and three-time world champion, Danny Green. It's a dream fight. And it's happening down under. The biggest international boxing event in Australian history. Live and exclusive, Green v. Jones Jr. Wednesday, December 2 at 6 p.m. on Main Event. Order now. Morning, Peter. Good morning, Mr. Jackson. Has John Ha arrived yet? He certainly has, sir. He's gone through to the billiard room. Has he? He's keen, isn't he? He certainly is. He's got the virus. One that won't do him any harm. Thank you, Peter. Every week or so, John and I meet at the Savile Club in London for a bite to eat and to yarn about the old days. And it was on one of these occasions that I got the notion that John should write his life story, too. Morning, John. Good I shot. Bet. But you can't do it again. What's the bet? <laughs> I bet you can't do it again there. I want you to prove that it wasn't a fluke, John. I don't. But how does one start another person's life story? Even money, boy. The childhood memories, the influence of parents, the effects of a war and a depression. Blimey, got me worried. Double the money. What are we going to play? Um, Billiards or Savile Snooker? Savile Snooker. John Hire was born in the Tasmanian coastal town of Devonport in 1916. His mother, Marcia Hire, was from a well-known line of colonial officials called Elliston. His father was Frederick George Hire, the son of a Lutheran minister who had migrated from the Alsace region of France in the late 19th century. Show. <laughs> question for Bingo. I have a question for Bingo. Bingo's here and full of cheer. Ask away, Flea. Bingo, I'd rather ask you. Why do you always slide down the fire pole? Because I don't know how to slide up. <laughs> <laughs> Joe. 
John Safran's race relations. Escaping now onto DVD. I think this vibe, we're drawn to people who don't look like us. Should you stick to your own tribe or escape it? Cross-cultural couples are breaking down ugly tribalism. I ain't never seen no one that looked like you before in my entire life. John Safran's race relations and his new controversial DVD, The Lost Pilot. Available now from ABC Shops, Centres, Retailers and ABC Shop Online. Natural wonders and man-made commercialism. Environmental beauty versus big business. Combining the hard sell and the spiritual. It's a delicate operation on a monumental scale. The walls of Dot's historic home hold more secrets than she cares to remember. 